Now, Rachel Kastner. She is a U.S. citizen who's been living in Israel for the past four years. Uh, thank you for your time on this Tuesday. Tell me what has been happening for you personally in the last 24 hours as we watch all of this continue to unfold. First of all, thank you so much for having me. I think that it's incredibly, incredibly important that American viewership hears from the many U.S. citizens who are here on the ground. Um, in the past 24 hours, um, my husband and I have run for cover to the bomb shelter um, in accordance with the alerts um, and the sirens of Hamas targeting Tel Aviv. Um, I've learned about countless people that I know who have been killed either in the massacre, who have been taken um, as hostages from Hamas, which we already knew a little bit earlier in the week, um, and people who have fallen already as soldiers um, in the past week. My Facebook is just flooded with obituaries, um, and um, it's a between the, the grief of knowing people who have died and the honestly psychological aspect of the warfare of the rockets of never knowing whether you're going to need to run for shelter. And then of course, the overwhelming grief of just the entire situation being so complex and feeling that there's no good options. Um, it's, it's an incredibly painful time for everyone here on the ground, both in Israel and in Gaza. It is so much to bear on multiple fronts, as you said, Rachel. Um, I'm sorry about your personal loss and the unknown of those who have been kidnapped and are now being held hostage. How are you receiving information in such a difficult time, and how are you getting word of those you care about? Um, my my friends um, who are U.S. citizens, whose family are also U.S. citizens and were taken hostage, um, are sharing through social media and as well as the international press and media. Um, so we're hearing updates from them. They've been in touch with the State Department, with Biden, with Blinken, et cetera. So as well as the Israeli government um, and no new news of the hostages, um, the plan um, for, bringing, for bringing them home yet. Of course, we saw the first video of a young girl 21-year-old um, last night um, that Hamas um, released a video of. Um, otherwise, it's between the media and also social media where um, everyone is incredibly active sharing about their own experiences um, and, and sharing about their loved ones. You have friends who also have been called up in the reserve. Tell me about them and what they're saying to you as they ready for the next phase. Absolutely. I have both Israeli friends and American friends who are here um, in the, serving in the reserves for the IDF, both on the southern border and on the northern border. Um, to be honest, Marnie, we don't have too much contact with them, um, either because their phones are taken away for safety or because they're busy preparing. We're kind of in a period of wait. We don't know when when a ground invasion is going to happen. We don't know if the North is going to get involved. My husband's family lives in the North. We had a scary incident um, a few nights ago where there was ex there was a threat of uh, terrorist infiltration as well as rocket alerts in the North, and everyone um, went into shelter and was told to shelter in place. Um, so everybody's on edge. Um, it's unclear. It's unclear whether this is going to turn into something larger with the northern border as well, um, and that's that's the that's the status uh, personally for me. I have family both in the north, um, friends who are serving in the south and in the north, and I'm here in Tel Aviv. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.